Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com YouTube channel. Um, this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you um, how you can uh, apply these uh, very nice uh, fire textures uh, onto the text. Um, I've, uh, I've done a, a tutorial a few days ago about um, uh, about this file texture effect, and uh, and uh, just got some emails from the from you guys uh, about how exactly you can um, apply this uh, this uh, file textures. Um, so I think uh, probably need to do a, a video tutorial just to show you the the steps. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So, as you can see now, we've got a uh, a a text uh, layer here. Now, I've applied some uh, some wooden textures onto the uh, onto the text. So, the next step will be uh, applying the um, the fire textures. All right. So we've got uh, a a file stock uh, image here. So what we're gonna do is to use the um, um, magic wand tool, and uh, basically we're gonna select the the black background. Then hold down your shift key, and we're gonna select the um, the bottom half as well. So once you've done that, then go to the select inverse, and now we've got. A pretty nice uh, selection of the fire textures, um, but we don't really need to have that much uh, fire textures. So we're gonna just gonna select a portion of it. So what we can do is to go to the quick selection tool, hold down the uh, sorry, just uh, increase the brush size a bit. Um, Use a uh, maybe a 50 pixel brush roughly, and uh, we're just gonna deselect some of the uh, selections here. So hold down the Alt key, and uh, just basically just gonna deselect some of the selections. So now we only got got uh, this this bit of uh, the file textures. So what we're gonna do is just to copy. Uh, Control plus C and copy that textures, and we're gonna paste that onto our uh, canvas. So just gonna put it above the file layer. Uh, sorry, the the text layer. So, um, just gonna create a new layer and paste that in. So. The next step, uh, you probably want to just um, smooth out the edge uh, a little bit, just to refine the uh, the edge a bit. So what we can do is to control and left click the uh, thumbnail of this uh, layer, uh, just load the selection, and uh, we're gonna go to select and refine edge. So as you can see, you can adjust the smoothness and adjust the radius of the selection just to refine that a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna leave that. So, okay, so once you refine the edge, you can just click on the uh, this uh, adding add layer mask button on the bottom right. Uh, Click on that one, and you can see we've done. We've just basically added a mask uh, for this fire texture layer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is to change the blending mode to uh, overlay. So as you can see now, we've got some uh, fire textures onto the text. Um, what you can do now is to just to duplicate these textured layers a few more and then basically just click and drag uh, the layer and move them 
um, around the text to create some uh, different patterns. You can also resize the um, the layer just to add some variety onto the text. And uh, you can also duplicate the layer one more, a few more times, and just play around with the um, the blend, the blending options. Um, so you can change that to a screen. Uh, sorry, change that to a color dodge, um, blending mode, and you can you can reduce the opacity a bit just to add some extra effects onto the text. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my uh, my final products here. So as you can see, um, I basically applied um, uh, about um, uh, ten different layers. Uh, each layer has got a uh, different fire textures. Um, so I also basically um, adjust each layer and. Uh, use the uh, the free transform tool um, yeah so just to add some variety onto the text and um, and also by the way um, you can use the um, the liquify filter so we're just gonna show you this before I go so for example I'm just gonna change that back to normal so for example, if you got this um, fire textures here, what you can do is to go to filter and go to liquify and basically use the forward warp tool on the top here and then basically just manipulate the fire and just to add some flowing effects on the edge like this. So So um, yeah, so just give be, give that a uh, bit more arti artistic feeling. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, and uh, basically you can resize that and uh, attach that to the um, to the top of the image or wherever you see it, uh, you see fit. Uh, it's either on the top or on the bottom, so yeah, depending on your personal choice. Um, yeah, so um, so this is my final products, and uh, yeah, so it's it, it all comes down to uh, to the blending mode and the selection technique that I um, show you um, during this uh, this video tutorial. Yep. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, hope you uh, enjoy this video tutorial, and uh, yeah, make sure you check out the uh, the full tutorial on the link below uh, if you if you are interested. Um, yeah. So um, have a have a uh, a very nice day, and uh, we'll see you next time.